God cross to take my mans out, just kill yourself in the trenches. 40 on my help, I had to fix my belt. What's up, YouTube? Not saying it's about Kaja. Jump in, Jada. We back in another video, y'all. Know what I'm saying <clears throat> today, y'all. We got a real wicked video, y'all. We got you didn't land that. We got best free throw line dunker of all time, James White. What in the world do you mean? I'm not gonna deal with. I'm not gonna deal with this today. Why is he already starting from the free throw line? Exactly, bro. Video not even one second in. One second. Anyway, y'all, bro. This is going to be a wicked video. Y'all make sure y'all are ready because I don't know if I'm ready, bro. Mm -mm. I don't know if I'm ready, bro. It's just it's impressive. Good. It's just impressive. It's just impressive to, to see. Bar. Get to our cliff bar. It's, it's impressive to see somebody try to try to replicate my three point line dunk mm -hmm. by getting a little closer, like free throw line. What are you talking about? My my three point line dunk. A three point line dunk. It was from the corner too. I did a half court line dunk from with a blindfold on. Off, what are you off about? vertical too. Like I was, I stood at three point line, and all I did was squat and jump. I did it with Ruby Rose on my back. Shout out Ruby Rose for helping me out. Bro, watch out. Anyway, y'all, bro, we finna get straight into this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you subscribe to us for Share the video and all that. Oh. All right, straight this bitch. Like, what in the world is this, bro? What the heck he is this, do? bro? It looks like somebody pushed them in the air. What the fuck? Wait. What the heck is happening? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh! The rim is nowhere near him right now! But look at where he at when he at the rim! His head is above the rim! <laughs> Jesus! What is he talking about? Now, when I posted the poll, I thought, you know, maybe he would be an obvious number one because maybe not everybody knows who he is because he's not, he was only in the NBA for a couple of years. So I can understand him not having the overwhelming support of the fans, but I thought for sure that my fans in particular, who I thought would have a good knowledge of dunking, would know that James Wright is clearly the best free throw line dunking. So I'm a little disappointed in my Twitter followers. All right, Duncan Demers. We're trying to see the highlights, bro. They're not off from the... Wait, who the... Most MJ and Dr. J, who took off from well in front of the free throw line. While these have always been considered free throw line dunks, and yes, I consider them free throw line dunks, they're not legitimate behind the free throw line. Now, although some other guys in the NBA have taken off from behind the free throw line, James... He's talking about me when I took off, when I, when I took off from the half point line. He couldn't be talking about me because I took off from the three point. Really set the bar as how far he could take off from and what dunks he could do. So the best example here is actually my favorite free throw line dunk of all time. It's James White over in Turkey. He actually took <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Windmill. Now, he did a windmill right here. Yes, bro. In front of home. A couple inches at the low. The, the, the logo. He's also off center. So if you look at the free throw line, the very middle of the free throw line is 15 feet. But if you go over, the further you get from the center, she it's more the... than 15 feet. We can't tell exactly how far it is, but you can tell that it's clearly far enough off center to be a few inches and then add the length that he's already behind the free throw line. And you've got a windmill that's maybe three or four inches behind the free throw line, and he dunked it with room to spare. That's why that's my favorite free throw line dunk of all time is because, A, it's a legit free throw line dunk, B, it's a windmill free throw line, and C, he had room to spare. You can see after he dunks the ball, he's kind of in disbelief himself. He throws the ball at his head. I thought that was kind of funny. I mean, it's just Why crazy to like, take off from that far from behind the line and still be able to windmill it. So James Wright was in the D League for a while. Uh, he competed in a D League dunk contest, won the dunk contest. He gave us a few free throw line dunks in this contest. Um, he had one legitimate free throw line behind the free throw line. NBA Draft Express gave us some great video of that. Oh my Slowly gosh. Down in Exmo, uh, like, what in the world? 
When I filmed James White in 2010, he like beat me up a BMF. Told me and a few other guys that the furthest he's taken off from uh, to grab the rim was the top of the key. So that's almost a three point line. He couldn't dunk it from the three point line, but he could me. take off from the top of the key and still grab the rim. That's just insane to me. Now there's no video evidence of this. So he couldn't dunk it from the three point line. But he could take off from the top of the key and still grab the rim. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't hear that right, right? Did you mean taking off from the top of the key, like shooting the three point line, or like taking off from like trying to jump? Like, you mean taking a jump shot from top of the key? Jump shot, right? I think I'm not hearing that right. I don't know what to say. What do you mean there's no video evidence footage? Like, who was there? Who was witnessing it? Like, who you said was he there witnessing that? Or is he making that up? Are you jumping on the top of the key and still grab the rim? Is he making this up for views or no? Because, like, I know nobody else but me did this, so it can't be Bro, real. watch out, bro. You never did this shit before, dog. Only That's in your dreams. It's insane to me. Maybe I don't even sleep. evidence of this. So maybe he was, you know, like a free throw line dunk. Maybe his heel was on the top of the key. But regardless, that's just crazy to take off that far. Now, aside from his legit behind the free throw line dunks, he also had the craziest on the free throw line dunks. Once again, that dunk contest in Turkey, he dunked from on the free throw line dunks. Whoa! Whoa! They step on a chair! Now, some people out there... That's Stefan Diggs? Zach Levine did a between legs from free throw line dunk. It's like he stepped on a chair! Mid-air! performance, it wasn't nearly as far as James White's. James White... Out there, don't make sense, bro. He just don't. He like he literally stepped on the chair and then got up more, bro. It's like he was saying he couldn't reach the sink, so he stepped on the stool. Free throw line and did it between the legs. Dunk. Now some people out there might say, oh, but Zach Levine did a between legs from free throw line dunk. He got so clearly, fun. as you see in his 2016 performance. I did double windmill free throw line dunk. Watch out, bro. You never did that before, dog. Much out. I remember doing a backflip in the air while I was in the uh, while I was in the air. I did a backflip and then and then a windmill and then between the legs and then dunked it. And then when I landed, twenty holes sparked on me. Bro, what? Nearly, as you see in his mm -hmm. 2016 performance, it wasn't nearly as far as James White's. James White has done this multiple times. I think the first time he probably did it was that head, Cincinnati that open mean. run. But here in this turkey contest, you can see clearly see he's on the free throw line. Between the legs, with room to spare, I actually wouldn't be surprised if he could do a legit between the legs from free throw line. Well, I take that back. He's too old now, but I'm sure that he probably used to be able to dunk from the free throw line between the legs, legit, legit behind it. We've also seen James White a few times do a tomahawk from on the free throw line. Uh, I think my favorite is what the frick? college dunk contest. Right is putting a hole. Jordan, they the lined up like you taking a free throw. The hose is surrounded if it to get the rebound for him or something. If it'll box each other out and shit. <laughs> bro, they finna start fighting over him and shit. Just bro, why do you go like that? Brought it all the way back to his shoulder blades and your two hand tomahawk. That's one of the most graceful dunks that we've seen. Uh, I remember one time I was finna dunk, let, let the ball go, I started scratching my back, and then I got the ball right here, and then I boomed it. In the NBA dunk contest, we did a back scratch. Far. He was like. A step in front of the free throw line. By the way, just to clarify a few things about that NBA dunk contest, a lot of people will discredit James White because Ooh. he underperformed in the NBA dunk contest, but they don't realize that he was already in his 30s when he competed in the NBA dunk contest. Well past what do you mean? That's still crazy, line. though. I know guys like Remix are still dunking at 35. For a guy like James White, who's more reliant on his spring rather than, than his strength, um, it's very hard to sustain that springiness into your 30s. Regardless of what guys like Remix can do, the fact is James White was past his prime in the NBA dunk contest, so you can't really hold that against him. That was not James White in his prime, so forget about it. Another one of my favorite free throw line dunks from James White was kind of like a pump, almost windmill, where he brought it back and dunked it from the free What? Line. Um, the only thing that I hate about this contest was what? that the entire circle was white and you couldn't see the gym where the free throw line was. Yeah. We know that he took off about the free throw line. He was probably a little bit in front of it. But for him to do that motion, and he finished it really easily. He had a lot of room That's to spare. Crazy. I thought that was really crazy. One of my favorite free throw line dunks. Another overseas contest, 
I think this is the first time he did it in a contest, but he took off instead of from the <gasps> What? He took time he did it. Dude, his head was above the rim. His head. Oh my god, they the bro, do you see that chili? They trying to get crushed. This shit is trying to get crushed. You see the ball at right now? Oh my freaking god. Yeah. Oh my god. You gosh. see the ball right now? Oh my gosh, bro. Free throw line straight on. It went. It took off from the what side is he of the doing? Key. What? Uh, what is he doing? Almost the elbow, a little bit in front of it. Ooh, they right there. Ooh. Yes, they're right there. That gave him extra yeah, bounce. The is, as you know, it's pretty close to the free throw line. Oh my god. The what the? Is, as you know, Who is that right there, though? She the looked kind of bad, though. Yeah, she flight attendant. Boy, they what? brought a flight attendant, bro. He brought a flight attendant. Bro, he is, bro. He that shit not funny, crush, bro. bro. He brought crush, a bro. flight attendant. He's trying to crush. He's trying to show her he could get up. Like, like, oh like how she be doing the plants. Oh, me. <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, look at his hat already. Oh, my <laughs> God. His shoulder. He's buddied up with the shoulder, bro. He's buddied up with the rim right now. He's, he's like, he's trying to celebrate with the rim. <laughs> like, like, if you do like this with the ribbon, <laughs> hey, he's still going up with a freak. A swing, All she did was not her head. She knows she's going to crush it. it. And I think this was already kind of past his athletic prime, um, but he was still flying. Wait, past his athletic test. prime? And I wish he would have tried this type of dunk, you know, earlier in his career. I think he could have done it really well. Now, for the 41% of you who thought that Zach Levine was the best free throw line dunker, Zach Levine, amazing dunker. His 2016 performance was one of the best of all time. But free throw wise, his windmill, his regular free throw, and his between the legs free throw were all well in front of where James White takes off from. The only legitimate argument for Zach Levine was that viral video that he had um, jumping from just inside the free throw line and doing a 360. That's one of the nastiest free throw line dunks of all time, for sure. I wish we could tell exactly where he took off from. I wish there were better angles. I wish it wasn't just in the practice. That's really the best argument for Zach Levine was that 360 because that's something that Jimmy Nigga. never did. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, bro, it's no holes in here. He's just trying shit that comes to his head. He's checking off bucket list dunks. He's seen this shit in 2K and want to freaking recreate it. He turned around and still had time to pose for the dunk. Decent yes, part. bro. Michael Jordan, same thing. Listen, Michael Jordan's great, great basketball player, great free throw line dunker. But most of his dunks were in front of the free throw line. I think he had one that would, where he put the tape down, where he was legit behind it. But his iconic pump from the free throw line, he was well in front of it. And it was basically a little pump, mostly because he could pound the ball so well. Um, it's not an extravagant thing. It's nothing on the level of James White, that's for sure. Mike Conley, who actually only got 4% in my Twitter poll, I think he has the best argument against uh, James White because he was the shortest guy on this list. He's only Jesus. a super tall track oh, athlete jumper, and he could take off. Whoa, the oh, God. Oh, my God. We've seen it. We've seen this one before where he, he did like this and then that. Triple jumper. He dunked. He, he dunked on the invisible line rims line and then dunked on that rim. <laughs> um, he never did he dunked it in some milk line. and then put it in. Uh, one of my favorite dunks of his was actually a two hander from just inside the free throw mm -hmm. line where he actually hung oh, on the rim on his two hands all that momentum. And if he Mike would have he would have had a serious Wait, injury. Really? Luckily, he did. And oh, was Mike Jr.? I didn't know that was his dad. Yeah. He hung on the Mike rim Conley? on the two-hander with all that momentum. The baby right here. That's Mike Conley. What the freak? And if he would have slipped, How do you put like he would have had a serious injury. Mm -hmm. Luckily, he didn't. But that dunk was crazy just because of how dangerous he was. So there it is. That's why I think James White is the best free throw line dunker of all time. I encourage you to search James White on YouTube. Watch all of his old videos, all of his old dunk contests overseas. Uh, McDonald's, college, NBA. See why he's the best free throw line dunker. I showed you what the is that? Let me know what you think in the comments? Uh, if you did like this video, he got his chin above the rim. <laughs> what do you mean? No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the freak? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Where is he gonna get down? He just kept going up. He went above the thing that that's edited right here. <laughs> How you go above the thing that's edited? <laughs> like what? He's where the vent is. 
He's literally bitten with the rib with the bit, bro. What the fuck is bitten? <laughs> bro, bro what? what the heck was that, dog? Anyway, y'all, bro, that man definitely is the best free throw line dunker, no cap, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie, because she be getting, she be getting it up above the rim while jumping from the free throw line. That's insane. Yes, bro. But, shoot, y'all, that's the end of the video. And I'm saying, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe to Netflix Twins. Comment out some videos, see you react to, bro. Just the post of the bill, we out this, bro. Yeah. Belly trucks with semi-suckler, hot, don't turn the city up, be wildin', don't get any fucks, we block stars, they...